Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Please take a second and share this live feed. Let everybody know that we're live. I am gonna try to make up for yesterday and today because we have four cats we are celebrating. I just have to hope we can see a few of them because they're the Shire cats. <laughs> So first things first, Ariel is 13 years old today. <laughs> Why is he so cute? <laughs> Have you seen Ariel? Yeah, but um... She being picky? It's her birthday, so that's why she's like, she was I want prime food. rib. <laughs> she wanted caviar, she said, but um, they said there was not in the menu. Oh, boo. All so right. she left. So she'll get something more special later then. <laughs> I get it, Ariel. Nothing but the best for a Disney princess. All right, now we just got to find her. So again, please take a second share this let everybody know that we're live we're gonna attempt to see ariel today we are technically celebrating ariel for what we believe would be about her 13th birthday sue and lakota about their 10th birthday and yesterday was mr hutch on his five-year rescue anniversary so we just have to see if we can find her she's not on either platform I think she's creeping around somewhere. She... She's very good at hiding. She must have known she was going to be the first cat featured today. <laughs> and I tailed it out of here. She's not on this platform. Well, this will give you guys plenty of time to share. That was Marie and Mouser when we first walked up. Sometimes she goes up in her tree. Not today. Hmm. Might have to circle back. Oh, there she is. Oh, hi. You blend in so darn good, lady. So darn good. Happy birthday, Ariel. Happy birthday, girly. What a pretty lady. She's like, oh, you're going that way. I'm going to go back this way. <laughs> Miss Ariel, show everyone how gorgeous you are. Say, it's my birthday and I want you to sponsor me. Today is the first day of a brand new month. And I think the prize for whomever is going to sponsor cats in the month of March, you will be entered in a drawing. And at the end of the month, we will draw a winner. And that winner is going to get a Kimba tiger paw print. So there we have it. That is going to be our third prize of the year. I know I really do appreciate everybody's kind words and everybody congratulating Mark and I. It was an incredible weekend. It really was. Um, I am very tired. I am very sore. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that on here because this is for the cats. This is not a personal thing. So if anyone is curious, if you've been following along, you can continue to follow along. I will continue to post updates and blog posts on Mark and I's blog. We've, we blog for fun and we have an Instagram and a Facebook that go along with it. So find us over there. Hi honey. I'm trying to give you screen time so you get some sponsors, babe. Let's get you some sponsors for your birthday. I know honey. Let's get that girl some sponsors. So you can sponsor any of the cats, including our gorgeous Miss Ariel at bigcatrescue.biz. Ooh, 
What a gorgeous lady. Um, I also keep getting a lot of questions as to why I'm not at the rehab conference, and that is correct. I unfortunately didn't get to go. I'm pretty heartbroken about it, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So, <laughs> good news is I will be here. So, it'll be myself and Aaron because Afton's on a very well deserved vacation. So I will be here with the babes. That means I will do a live today. I should be able to do a live tomorrow, again on Sunday and on Monday, all weather permitting, of course. And I wouldn't have been able to do any of those if I was up in Delaware right now, so. Also the thought of being cold directly after <laughs> a race weekend like that, mm, I don't know. <laughs> She's so good at blending in. Your tail gives it away. Your tail gives it away, lady. They're going to have to bring you something special on your birthday. <laughs> She's so cute. We saw a lot of people dressed like you this weekend. Ariel. <laughs> Pretty lady. So goofy. I know we never get here when she's still moving around, so this is kind of exciting. She's not just hiding up on a platform, instead she's hiding behind a tree trunk. <laughs> so again, if you guys want to um, be nosy and know how the weekend went for Mark and I, you can go find our blog. But for now, we are focused on these kitties. So today being Ariel's, what we believe would be about her 13th birthday, Ariel's story was that we were contacted by a lady who said her son had a bobcat kitten as a pet that their dog had drug in. And then he was expecting a child and they were very scared to have a bobcat with a baby. Of course, duh. And so Ariel was brought in hoping maybe she was young enough, maybe not imprinted enough um, to be rehabbed and released. But unfortunately, she was already very, very dependent on humans for food and would, even though she would definitely injure you when she can definitely kill things, um, she was not doing it for survival. She was doing it because she's a bobcat and once they're imprinted like that with humans, they can't be released back into the wild safely. So beautiful Ariel has been here ever since. She's like, I really want to go somewhere, but you were right there being a tough girl, aren't ya? You being a tough girl. I won't follow you, I promise. We've gotten some really good FaceTime with Miss Ariel. <laughs> Of course I do have to walk that way if we want to go see Sue and Lakota. Sue and Lakota, we are celebrating their estimated 10th birthday. Are you grooming? Hi, pretty pretty. Hi, pretty pretty, you and your rattlesnake tail. I know Maria already took collected your food because you weren't eating it. She's like, but if you put it back right now, I will eat it. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. They're going to bring you different stuff. <laughs> I know. All right. Let's go see these kids. I see a Lakota staring at us. Happy birthday, Bobcat boy. Happy birthday, Bobcat boy. He's still sitting by your old Christmas tree. Hi, mister. This is Lakota. Hi, Mr. Lakota. Oh, handsome guy. <gasps> handsome guy. Is you 10 years old today? Him 10 year old boy. Whoa. <gasps> yeah, happy birthday, sweet boy. I sure am gonna make sure you get something special. Ooh. Listen to those noises. You sound like an old video game. You sound like an old video game, Lakota. <laughs> Where's sister? 
Now, Sue and Lakota were rescued out of a horribly crappy, decrepit, run-down roadside zoo in Mobile, Alabama. Extremely small and skinny. They should be like double the size that they are. Oh, hi, honey. Happy birthday, little lady. Happy birthday, little lady. That's why even though they are 10-year-old bobcats, they still have to be in this two by four wire because they were just way smaller than they should have been. And that was definitely a nutritional issue. Sue, baby. Had a lot of teeth issues. Unfortunately, just a whole lot of issues from neglect, but here we've gotten them nice and fattened up as they can be. They do live together still. We've always kept the siblings or the couples that come in together together. We just make sure they're spayed and neutered because we do not believe in breeding for a life in prison. Because again, once these cats have been born and raised in cages, fed by humans, and and they associate people with food. It is not safe for them to be set free. But you two look so good. They look like different cats from when they first, first arrived. So we believe there are about 10. In the wild, cat, um, Bobcats typically, we've been told like 10 to 12 years, but could be up to 14 years, depending on how lucky they are, how good of a territory they can keep. But in captivity, especially here at Big Cat Rescue, they've been known to live into their 20s. So that means Sue and Lakota, we could still have you for another, another 10. <laughs> She's like, okay, bye. She got smart. She's like, you're just gonna keep following me. I'll just hide behind this massive shrub. <laughs> Where'd you go, lady? <laughs> well, where did Lakota? Oh, Lakota's up on his walkway there. Well, I want to go out and see Hutch, but he will be our last one. Let's check and see if, since we're celebrating Ariel, Sue, Lakota, let's see which neighbors are out and about. I know Mouser was just out. Hi, Lakota. Look how handsome. Look how handsome. So again, if you want to sponsor any of our celebration cats for March, you can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. You just find sponsorship kits, you can choose your species, and then from there you can choose your favorite cat. If you want to shop for a specific cat, you can just go to that online store and in the search bar type in their name. Oh, hi Puddin! I was wondering if you were in your ferns yet. This is summer. You got so many neighbors celebrating today, lady. Is you going to be a very good party hostess? What you slinking around for? Are you slinking? Look at that tail. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Sweet lady, you got pollen stuck to your butt. So I can tell I have a sinus infection on one side of my face. Thursday when we left for our trip, all of a sudden I realized that the left side of my face was swollen. And I'm pretty sure that dictated the way the rest of my weekend went. Oh, lady. Because my entire car is green and everything out here is green and has pollen on it. I also think I might be on the verge of an ear infection. So all of that's super fun. Perfect time of year, right lady? Perfect time of year. 
everything's disgusting. <laughs> you walk outside and walk back inside and you can tell you just have this film of pollen on you. Look at you in your little spot. Is that the best tree trunk ever? It's so magical. Magical tree trunk. Do you some scratching? Oh boy. Look at that tail. Look at that wild tail. Oh, what was that? What was that scary noise? You can tell she lays in that spot a lot because all the leaves are like mashed down and out of the way and it's just super cute. Like, it's not, of course, going to show you. Here she goes. Well, let's go over and see Mr. Mouse. Mouse is gonna need a lot of TLC the next <laughs> week. <laughs> Mama gonna be gone. I, mean, I can literally feel it falling, like, like pollen falling into my eyelashes. Where is that mouse mouse? Probably already in his little house. Mouse, mouse in his house. Oh, right there in the sun. Hi, Mouser. Hi, cute boy. You did not need to come over. You could stay right there. Him could stay right there. I just wanted to say hi. Well, I do want to thank everybody very much for last Thursday when I did my last live before leaving for the week, or sorry, it was last Wednesday, because I wasn't here on Thursday. Um, I, a lot of people had reached out about sponsoring Mark and I running like per mile, and we were both supposed to do 22.4 each over the weekend, and when I actually calculated total from the day we got there to the day uh, we left, we both had put in at least 52 miles. <laughs> so you guys nailed it. You guys went above and beyond and I just can't thank you guys enough for um, supporting the cats for our crazy goals. So thank you very, very much. That blew me away. The last, uh, the last live fundraiser was incredible. So thank you. Mouse, mouse, you look very sleepy. You do not need to come over. I want you to get cozy right there. You just get cozy right there. You just get cozy. And thank you very much if anybody has donated on this live here. And again, we start over on a brand new month. This month's sponsorship drawing winner at the end of March will win a Kimba tiger paw print that was taken during his vet visit. Mouse Mouse, very sleepy. Very sleepy guy. Huge shout out to everybody helping out in the comments. Really appreciate that. All right, kiddo, you tuck in. Tuck in for all day nap. If you joined in late, you missed Ariel, Sue and Lakota. We've seen Summer. We just saw Mouser. I don't think I see a miss miss out. And we're going to go out and finish up with Hutch because he celebrated his five-year rescue anniversary yesterday. I can't believe I've been in love with Hutch for five years. Is there a Mrs. Home? Oh, not in the angry barrel. She's out somewhere then. Oh, I see her. Oh, bless 
her little heart. Let's see if she will stay where she is. I'm not gonna try to get too close, but I gotta go around where there's not wire. Wire on wire on wire. <laughs> there she is. Hi, missus. Oh, you were rolling around being so cute. You was being so cute. Hi. <gasps> Miss Miss. Got that beautiful coat pattern out all on display today. I see you ripped your bowl out of your lockout as per usual. Oh, it's not even over here. Oh, there it is. Well, I was like, where did you put it, lady? Her water bowl is her favorite toy. She has tons of other toys. She even has a paper bag right there. <laughs> water bowl is the best clinky toy ever. I'm sure if you guys ever hear that like 10 sound from Summer's camera, you'll know exactly what it is and it's Mrs. I mean, she obviously likes to play with other stuff. That's what's left of one of her spice bags. <laughs> so goofy lady, you're so goofy. You're such a goofy lady. Beautiful Miss Miss. Beautiful Miss Miss. She is definitely full of spunk. Sorry, I'm trying to get cobwebs back off of my phone and stabilizer. Pretty much just walked right into a massive cobweb. Oh, we're just gonna hang out and lock out? You, you dumped your bowl. That's also not even the lockout you eat in, silly. She is just, really does walk to the beat of her own drum. Don't ya? Oh, goodness. Oh, those two by four wires a mess. You're so cute. Look how cute you are. You still have some scraps on your plate. I walked right by it. You could go over there for that. You keep laying behind stuff and then I can't show you. I won't come any closer if you'll just stay there for a minute. So pretty. Of course she won't look over probably. Aren't you so pretty? Thanks for those slow blinks, lady. <laughs> you got a growl too? Can't just let me have a slow blink. No way, Jose. I always mean business. I always means business. Mrs., you're such a professional bobcat. You're a professional bobcat. Yes, you are. You and Ariel and those rattlesnake tails. Those rattlesnake tails. Always, they always have to put their face behind the one leaf. The one leaf that's there. Yes, Mrs. Claus is absolutely one of the cutest, most gorgeous. It's like she's she's a mixture of like summer and Ariel. Cause she's very spotted and very like prominent details, but yet she's so tiny. Yeah, I used to think you were the tiniest Bob that could ever be, and then along came summer.
Miss Miss, thank you for spending so much time with us. We've got an Ariel and a Mrs. in the same live. And a pretty decent Sue and Lakota as well. Miss Miss. Well, okay. Camera does not want to focus no more on this wire. Oh, I know. Thank you for the beautiful close-up, though. We're going to leave while we're ahead, okay? Keep relaxing. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head out to Hutch. Spend some time with our anniversary boy. Thank you very much to everybody who also donated on their Facebook posts. Yesterday, Hutch, I think his was only about $35 for his rescue anniversary. But this morning, I noticed it was already $103 for Ariel, Sue, and Lakota's birthday post. So I will be featuring them on Instagram. So thank you very much, especially while I was gone. I, I did try to skim through comments each day, but really, really appreciate when you guys like and um, comment on the posts on Instagram when you respond or you like other people's comments that's really really helpful to me and we just started to heavily increase posting reels not only on facebook but also now on instagram we were approved for their bonus program which means the more of you that are watching those all the way through sharing them commenting on them liking them you guys are helping us earn money for the cats when all you're doing is looking at our content so the more of those reels that you can share or like or comment then the more views we get and we're being paid by the views um, up to certain amounts for a bonus so um, i can't thank you guys enough for helping us in that area and if you can keep that going I'd really really appreciate it i just started the march bonus um, on Instagram, so. Oh, hi, mister. Are you chasing? There's a very sneaky Nabisco. Where are you chasing me? You're watching my feet, I know. Or the tires on the golf cart. Hey, I I'm up here. Eyes up here. Biscuit. Biscuit. Nope, just my feet. <laughs> Talking about special bobs, I don't think that there is a more special bobcat in the whole wide world than Nabisco. <laughs> you are just, you just are who you are, and I think that's hilarious. Hey, my foot's up here. Look, I put my foot up here. No? Okay. Still watching the other foot. <laughs> oh, buddy. I love you. So silly. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I go to drive away. Oh, yep, watching the feet. <laughs> All right, on to Hutchie. Lovey in her usual spot. I gotta get to a staff meeting though, so we'll go out and see Hutch and then I hope to do a live tomorrow. Um, one thing that you guys probably missed because I didn't go live for it, of course I haven't really been filming cat moves recently um, just because I haven't been told they're happening, but um, I just legit wasn't here this time, but they moved Alethea home and they took Manny out for his, I believe he'll be out there for a whole month. So Manny's in Funcation. Kimba is going to remain in vacation rotation, I believe until next week. And then we will be switching him back out. So in the meantime, we've got a couple of weeks to get the enclosure that Max and Marianne moved out of completely cleaned up and then wait on maintenance to go in and make it Manny safe and friendly for the keepers. 
and I believe the goal will be when it's time to move Manny out of Funcation, we will be hooking up the Tiger Transport the same way we've moved him home from the recovery hospital in the past so that we can just um, load him up into that and instead of him walking home to his old enclosure, he will be um, taking a short little car ride <laughs> to his new enclosure, which was the Max and Marianne previous enclosure. And then at some point, Max and Marianne will shift forward to Manny's enclosure. We'll have to go in and clean that up, of course. Shift them forward, and then boom, we'll be moving our next set of cats, which, unless I've missed something again, uh, it should be Flint and Nabisco. And I'm kind of excited for that because they will have a much bigger enclosure. And it'll be the biggest enclosure that they've ever lived in. So that will be exciting. So we are making our way to Mr. Hutch as fast as I possibly can. He has probably found a good place to sleep. There's no way I can't show him since I was not here yesterday. So again, celebrating Hutch's five year rescue anniversary. Also, if you missed the beginning, Ariel, Sue, and Lakota are all celebrating today as well. And if you do not know, there he is. Hi, sweetheart. You don't have to come over if you don't want to. I just, I got to find a better way to show you. So, there's a cute little hutch face. Oh, hi, sir. Hi, my love. Happy anniversary, love. Yeah, happy anniversary, my love bug. I'm sure Amanda made sure you were super spoiled over the weekend. I know she did. I know she did. And she made sure my cats at home were super spoiled too. We had three big cat keepers house sitting our three cats at home while we were gone over the weekend. And some hilarious content came out of that. <laughs> I'll be, I, you guys should know I have an addiction to Instagram. I absolutely love it. I have like six Instagrams myself. I had one when I had Hocus Squirrel, but since he has moved on and started his life and a female took over his territory, I don't see him much. So I haven't been posting on that Instagram much, but my cats have one too. <laughs> so I will have to post about the big cat keepers taking care of my cats while we were gone. <laughs> He's super cute. But I'm sure, I'm sure they spoiled you. What a good fella. What a good fella. Five years. I just don't even know where that time has gone. Where did that time go, buddy? Five years of loving you. Five years of loving that face. Yeah. So each cat has a bio page. So if you want to know the details, we generally put on their bio page anything and everything we could possibly know about them, along with photos and videos. And you can find all of those at bigcatrescue.biz, or I'm sorry, bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Dot biz is where you can go if you want to sponsor Mr. Hutch. Right, love bug. Oh, love bug. I know, I love you very much. I love you very much. Five years you've been our little love. Five years now. Right, kiddo? I need to come out and do some brushing and get that winter coat off of you now that it's in the 80s and 90s every day. Super humid. Super, super humid. I think Saturday for the run we did, it said it was 93% humidity. And on Sunday, it was 91% humidity. And 
It doesn't feel a lot less humidity today, does it, buddy? It is just moisture central. Yeah. What a good boy. Well, thank you again to everybody who has donated on this live, everybody who is going to or has already sponsored any of our March Celebrate Cats. We've got a couple other celebration cats uh, in the month of March, but three of them hit today on the first. Are you rolling around? Are you rolling around? Cute boy. Amanda's watching. Hutchies. <laughs> I know, cute boy. We love you and we're so happy it's your five-year rescue anniversary. Yeah. Handsome fella. Handsome fella. Look at all that fur coming off you. Look at all that fur. just leaning <laughs> yeah sadly Hutch does have a bum knee so we have to be really careful on the types of activity that he does because I don't think they think it's something super fixable so he is on pain management it doesn't seem to act like it affects him especially when foods around All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. If you missed any of this, you missed quite a few cats because we started all the way on the other side of property with Ariel, Sue, and Lakota. We saw lots of their neighbor friends. We drove out here just to see our special boy who celebrated his anniversary yesterday. So I really appreciate everybody sponsoring, donating, and shopping at BigCatRescue.biz. If you missed this live, you can rewatch it right here on our Facebook page. I share it to my Brittany Mira Big Cat Rescue public Facebook page. And it also goes to our YouTube channel. I think it still goes out to Twitter and LinkedIn as well. There is literally no excuse for you to not be able to find a live. <laughs> you just might not see it while it's live. I know the girls on Saturday do them. We've started some Friday fundraisers and we try to do daily walkabouts as much as we can. There's also singing Sundays. All of that can be found at bigcattv.com. All right, guys, we'll have a great day and weather permitting, I am glad to say I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, Hutchkins. <laughs> Bye, sweet boy. Bye, sweet boy. Meh. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you soon.